Hi, this is Diana from Second Half Dreams. In this video, I'm going to show you another way that you can place images inside of your book interior. In my last video, I showed you a couple of different ways that you can place an image inside of your book interior. One way is to go up here to File Place, select your image, and drop it inside. And the other method is to just drag and drop your image over. I don't really care for either of these two methods, and I'll show you why in just a second. First, I just want to delete both of these images. And then I'm going to go back over here and drag over a larger sized image. This one is 4000 by 4000, whereas this one was 1080 by 1080. So when I drag this one over, it's too large for my workspace. And of course, I can resize it and move it but sometimes that is a pain to do when the images are very large. So if you recall, the images are made up of the frame that the image is placed inside of and the image itself. So my preferred way of placing an image is to create the frame first. So you do that by going to this rectangle frame tool and drawing your frame where you want your image to go. And since my logo is a square, I want to make sure I have the same proportions. I'm just going to make this a square too. So it's 4.105 inches wide. So I'll just make the height the same. So now I have my square. So now I can, when I drag this over, the image fits inside the square. But the problem is, is that it wasn't resized. So to resize that, I just want to make sure my frame is selected, then I'm going to right click, go to fitting, and the one that I like is fits content to frame, and when I select that, my image is resized. And now I'll show you one more way that you can insert an image inside of your interior, and I'm going to do that here on the title page. So let me jump to that really quick, and again I'm going to select the frame tool draw my frame, and I'll change that to a square since my logo is a square. But this time before I place the image inside, I'm just going to right click here and then go to fitting, frame fitting options, and I'm going to change the fitting from none to fit content to frame. And then now when I drag the image over, it fits perfectly inside. And then since this is a little bit too large for a logo, I'm going to resize it smaller. And let me just show you a different way that you can resize it from what I've shown in the last video. You can also go up here to resize it. And right now they're both at 100%. So I'm just going to drop it down to 25% and then move it over to the bottom of the page. And I'll just check my margins really quick and move this up a little bit. And now I have the logo placed inside of my interior. And that concludes this video.